Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane and in today's tutorial series we're going to be taking a look at PHP PDOs. So what is PHP PDO? So PDO and PHP is a cool way to start working with multiple databases in a standardized way. According to the docs, PHP PDO is not an abstraction layer over databases but it's more like a standardized way that you can work with different databases in a common way. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's just um, see what the dependencies are in PDO PHP and if you want to work with PDO PHP you have to have at least PHP 5.1 and above and I'm just assuming that most people right now are above PHP 5.3 and if but if you're not um, try to get at least 5.1 and you can get the PHP PDO extension okay so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a database because we're gonna need to connect to some database on our local host and um, do some manipulations like select all so in this first video we're gonna do have a look at how to select records using PHP PDO and how easy that is compared to um, how it used to be done before with MySQL um, extension okay so I'll boot up um, the my SQL Pro here and I'll create a database on my local host so add database and um, I'll just call it PHP PDO tutorial Okay, and let's structure the um, database and give it some fields, right? So I'll just go ahead and um, create a table called users. And um, the user will have an ID field that's pretty much standard, and it's going to have a username field as well, and it's going to be a var char, var characters, and the length is going to be let's say a um, hundred. Okay, and it's not going to be nullable. You can't put null characters there. Um, so, sorry, null values. And we have an email field as well, or um, column, if you want to call it that. And the length of that is going to be 100 as well. And that's not going to be nullable as well. And last but not least, let's have a password column there. A varchar as well. And let's make that 200. Okay. And we're not allowed null for passwords as well. Okay, so with that out of the way, we have our database and we have some um, uh, columns in there, but we don't have any contents in there yet. We'll get to that in a moment. So let's move over to our IDE and create a test script so we can start working with PDO right away. So I'll just create a PHP file called index.php and um, it's just a little this boilerplate that PHP Storm creates for you. By the way, if you're wondering what ID I'm using, I'm using PHP Storm by JetBrains. Just go to Google and search for PHP Storm. As you can see here, PHP Storm, and you'll get to the website. It's not very expensive, okay? So we'll just go ahead and start PDO equal to new PDO. So PDO is a class in PHP, and if you want to use it, you have to instantiate the class and pass in some parameters. And first, what it expects is um, which driver you're going to use. In this case, we're going to be working with MySQL, but PDO supports um, several drivers, um, databases like Postgres and a few others. Maybe um, Oracle DB, I'm not sure, but um, it's very extensive. So we're going to say MySQL and um, semicolon or colon. And we're going to specify the host that we're going to collect to. So connect to, so host equals to local host. And then we're going to put a semicolon and then we say db name and if you remember our database name was php pdo tutorial so we're going to specify that there all in the string and then the next parameter is the username of the database so let's say root because that's the username for my local host and um, the password is um, vice city um, that's one of my favorite games um, okay, so next we have the PDO um, object here. So we have to create a statement next. So using the PDO object, let's say statement equal to PDO prepare. You have to call the prepare function on the PDO class object and then you put in your query in there. So in this case, let's say select everything from users table. Okay. We're just going to do a query on the database that we just initially created if you remember this here a few seconds ago okay so next let's say that we want to execute the statement so you have to call the execute function on the statement 
um, variable so let's say execute okay uh, optional you can pass your parameters there but we'll get to that in another video for now let's just keep it simple but now that we have executed our statement we have to get the result so the result equals to say the statement and then let's say fetch all so basically what we're saying is we want to fetch all the results all the rows from our um, ex uh, executed statement here that is select all from um, users okay so basically if you don't specify any parameters here, um, it's going to return results for you in both an associative way and um, a numbered way. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So now that we have our results, let's just print R. Okay, made a mistake there. So let's print all the results R. And right now we should get an empty array. But before we do that, let's just boot up a quick PHP server because right now we don't have a server. So I'll just say PHP S localhost 4200. Okay. And um, yeah, that's all we need to do. So I've run a, a PHP server and let's go to localhost 4200. And if everything works fine. We should get us um, the server running. So let's see. Something went wrong here um maybe the okay fine. i made a mistake in spelling localhost so it should have been localhost okay so let's go back to the browser and refresh that as you can see our print r of the result is showing that we have an empty array okay so i'll show you that this that's coming from here so let's just print out an array with one two three in there um in case you want to know which php version i'm using um, we're using PHP 5.5.21 here, okay? So we can use this um, squared array syntax. If you're using a, a lower version of PHP, let's say 5.2, I think, or 3, you may have to use the uh, regular array syntax. So that's where these results are coming from. So let's just undo that because we want to make sure that it comes from this result variable here. So the database currently doesn't have any records in it. That's why we have an empty array. So let's go back in the database and just put in some data there. So content, um, by the way, you can use PHP my admin to do what I'm just doing right now. I just like this program better than PHP my admin. Um, it's called SQL Pro. So they both do the same thing, uh, but I just prefer this one. So username, let's just say um, Lamin password lamin at email.com so in password let's just put the password okay so we've created one record let's create another one let's just say lamin2 lamin2 at email.com let's say password2 okay so now that we have two records in the database um, let's just go in our browser and refresh now we should see two um, items in this array here when we refresh we do get those two items but they don't look great so let's just do a quick echo of pre tags here just so that they are formatted nicely in the browser so i'll go back and refresh and as you can see we have an array containing two um, items so an array containing two other arrays this is the first row and this is the second row but if you notice the formatting of the arrays is both in associative that is the column names and then they also have numbered um, keys and if you want to get around that you can do passing an argument here you can say um, pdo fetch a suck it's a, a constant in the pdo class that you want to specify that you want to fetch only associatively each row okay now when you refresh this numbered um, arrays uh, keys here are going to disappear and you'll only have the column names for each row now let's refresh as you can see we only have id username email and password which correspond to um, each column in our database table users here okay so that does it for selecting um, items in pdo and um, in the next video we're going to take a look at the different output types and um, what i mean by that is what you have over here this argument that we just passed in there is different ones you can pass in like um, fetch um, boat and a whole bunch of other stuff. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.